Hello, welcome to this podcast called Finding Inspiration. It's a 20 or so minute weekly podcast where we interview someone with an amazing story. After the show, I know you're going to feel energized, invigorated, and inspired. I'm Jennifer Weissman. Welcome to Finding Inspiration. There's not a woman in the world who's not walked down the street or through a parking garage and felt uncomfortable. Most women have experienced this at some point in their life. Come on, you know it, I know it. Today we're talking about how to keep women feeling safe, protected, and empowered. Here's a statistic that should really frighten you. According to the CDC, one in five women have experienced actual or attempted rape in their lifetime. And a real breeding ground for this problem our college campuses, where 13% of all women have been assaulted in only that short period of time in their lives, three to four years that they're on college campuses. That's a frightening number. Today, we are talking about a new crowdsourced community app designed to help women feel safe in the world. It's called Safe Up. It's in 39 countries. It's expanded to the U.S., including New York, San Francisco, Boston, Miami. It is a free app. It's simple to use. If a woman finds herself in a situation where she feels uncomfortable, she can open up the app, click on her live location, click to local guardians who can reach out to her. This is a game changer in the world of women's safety and independence. And I'm very excited to speak to the founder of SafeUp, Netta Schreiber. Thank you for having me. So SafeUp is a social network of women's solidarity to prevent sexual harassment and to feel safer in their day-to-day life. We are just modernizing what women do all over the history and give them the opportunity to do in a tech way what they are so regular to do to help each other. How it works. So first you need to register and we will check your profile and make sure that you're, you are a real woman because we want to make sure that the network is safe. After that, you will see yourself on the map and you will see in your surrounding all the guardians that in your area. And in that moment, you already know that you are not alone. There is women around you, that they are guardians, they are community members that do the training and they are willing to help you. And then if you walk in the street feeling unsafe, you just click on call guardian and you opt onto a call or video call with the three nearest guardian. They will see your live location and they will make sure that you are safe. They will accompany you on your way. If you will need it, they will come physically to help you. And if something uh, becomes more complicated, they can add the police to the conversation. Nana, I imagine there are times when women feel like, oh, geez, should I call the police or did I imagine this? For sure. And, you know, the police, they cannot help you in that situation because they need clear danger to come. You know, they cannot come just because I'm afraid in the street. So, yes, like many, many uh, women are not feel safe to call the police, even if there is a real uh, threat uh, in their area, like some someone that follow them or something like that. They will think to themselves, maybe it's in my a head, maybe everything is okay. In Safe Up, we are not checking why you need the help. If you uh, click on the button inside the app, you opt on to a video or audio call with the three nearest uh, guardian, that they are trained women, that they are available and ready to help you. And they will make sure that you are safer, like you feel safe and you are really in a safe situation. So one of the key points here is that We all have our phones. They're with us 24 hours a day. And in the SafeUp app, the guardian can see your live location. Yes. Just in the moment that you decided to opt on to a call with them, then in that moment, they will see your live location to be able to come to you physically if you will need that. Okay. So Nana, tell us a little bit more of the exact role of the guardian. Yeah. So usually our use case, it's like you walking on the street, you click on the button, you opt on to the call, and then like... The guardians take this situation that can be uh, really hard and even traumatic and make it easy and fun and make you laugh and relax you and even like tell you um, to be careful, to go maybe to somewhere that there is light, like t- 
They give you tools to be and to focus on what makes you feel safer and not just to, to focus on your anxiety. Nada, how did you come up with the idea for Safe Up? What's the history? What's the backstory here for you? For me personally, I understand the meaning of feeling unsafe uh, 10 years ago uh, when I was a teenager and I uh, go with some friend of mine to a home party. When suddenly in that party, uh, I realized that one of my friends is uh, missing. I start to look for her and after that I take with me another friend and we, was ser- we were searching the house and after a few minutes we think that we hear a uh, uh, voice from some room and we get closer to the door and take a big breath and open the door and found there two guys in the middle of a kind of struggling half naked and in the moment that we enter to the room the guys ran away wow that sounds absolutely terrifying you stopped your friend from being sexually assaulted yes you know now i know to 